next lesson, I will be showing you on how are you going to assemble and disassemble this piece. But before that, you have to know first the following. First, make sure that you're going to remove all the accessories that you are wearing whenever you are working with your piece. That is to avoid any grounds or any damages that might cause to your computer or injuries to you as an individual. So let's take it off. Second, make sure that the computer is being turned off and it has been unplugged to the side. Now, after doing those safety precautions, the next thing that we need to know now is the different parts of the system unit. What are the internal parts of the system unit? And what are the different parts of the monitor? So, let's take a look at the different parts. Come on. So, let's take a look at the different parts now of the computer or the system unit. First, we have here the hard disk. So, this is the hard disk. It is where all the application program being installed and all the documents that you are currently working on with your computer can be seen in this hard disk. We also have what we call the SSD, that is the latest one. Where in the role of the SSD, it boosts the speed of your computer. That is why nowadays, I do advise that aside from having a hard disk or an HDD, provide an SSD that is to boost the speed of your computer even though you are using a lower version of a processor. Then, we also have the CD and the DVD row. We have the floppy disk drive. Then, we have the power supply. So, this is our power supply. Then, we have the system or the CPU. We commonly use one a CPU, but actually, this one is the system unit for the CPU we're in. It is also called the brain of the computer is inside the system unit, and this is our CPU. Take a look at it. So, we have the CPU, then we have the ROM. So, let's see what the ROM looks like. So, that is the ROM. See? The random access memory. Then, we have the motherboard. So, here is our motherboard. The parts of the motherboard, we have the 4 pins or the 24 pins. Then, we have the processor card. We have the video card slots. This one is the ROM slots. So, take a closer look of it. So, that is the ROM slot. The random access memory. Then, we have the video card slot. So, we have the video card. So, we have the CMOS. So, there. It is where you can see our battery. The purpose of the battery is for the date and time of our computer. The question is, can we still use the computer even without the battery? Yes, but on a lot of part or later on, you're going to encounter already a problem. So, that's why the CMOS battery is very important in our computer. So, let's take a look at the different parts. Since we're done discussing already the different internal parts of the system unit and the motherboard, let's take a look at the external parts this time of the system unit. So we have here the power plug ports. So here is the power plug ports. We have the PS2 port for the keyboard and the mouse. Usually, or before, we are using that one for us to attach the mouse and the keyboard. But nowadays, we are using already a USB or the backward compatible. We are using a USB to attach the mouse and the keyboard. Then we have the serial ports, the VGA port, for you to have a display in your monitor. We have the USB port, or what we call the universal serial bus. Then we have the NIC port or the network interface card then the sound chat. so those are the different external parts of the system it's like what i have mentioned a while ago it is very important for us to remove all the accessories that we are currently using 
so as to avoid any injuries and damages to your computer. Also, we need to remember tools that we're going to use. So we have the screwdriver. The next thing that we need to remember is whenever you are working with your computer, whenever you are assembling and disassembling, do not use the ground in placing all the materials or all the parts of the system unit. For the ground, might cause damages to your computer. So let's take a look at the different ways on how we're going to disassemble the computer. Here, you have to unscrew the system case. Another thing that we need to remember is to avoid placing all the screws to the ground. Simply place the screw in one place. Then after that, remove the case. Then, just place it like this. So this is our system unit. And these are the different parts of the system unit. So let's take a closer look of the different parts again. So we have here the ROM. So this is our ROM. The ROM slot. The 24 pins. We have the PCI slot. The VGA port. The hard disk. The power supply. The SATA cable. So let's start this assembly. First, you have to remove the RAM. To remove the RAM, simply press down the two white lock to unlock the RAM. See, you will hear a sound that it has been unlocked already. So remove the RAM. Again, do not place it on the ground. So you can place it beside the screwdriver or the screw. There. Next, you have to remove the CMOS. So this is our CMOS or the battery. You can press that one. So to remove the CMOS battery. So somewhat similar to a battery of a watch. But a bit bigger. So this is our CMOS battery. Please take a look at it now. There. So remove the battery. Next thing that we need to do now is to unplug the 24 pins. So this is our 24 pins. See? So let's transfer and move it like this. So we have the 24 pins. There. So this is our 24 pins. You can see there, this one. You have to press. Press it tightly then remove it there so this is our 24 pin c remove again there then this one is the power so this one look remove c unplug See, just pull up the ladder for you to remove that. Okay, remove all the SATA at the back of the hard disk. So, simply remove. Make sure that if you're going to disassemble the PC, you have to remember all the parts that is being removed in your motherboard sometimes we get confused of attaching or placing all the cables in a wrong way and that is commonly the problem why the computer is no longer functioning so you have a photographic memory so as if you are a camera that you have to capture the parts that is being deattached for you to attach them correctly so Let's go back. So, photographic memory. Now, remove again this one. So, this is for the sound. You will not 
get confused for you can see the USB. See, this is the purpose why the USB is functioning. So, there. So, just make sure that you're going to remember where you remove those parts. Again, then this one. This is the hardest part. It is where you can see all the audio, the HDD LED, the power LED, the HD, why the computer turned on. So, you will not get confused for there is a label. Also, there is a label here in your motherboard. Okay? Then, remove this one. See? So, that is for audio. After removing that one, remove now the hard disk. Next thing that we need to do now is to remove the power supply. This is our power supply. You will see there a screw. You have to unscrew them. Make sure that you're going to hold the screw. Hold it. Or it might fall. Hold first this one before you remove the last screw. There. We have removed already. Make sure that you're going to hold the screw. Last thing that you need to do now is to remove the motherboard. This is SATA. Okay. So unscrew all the screw. There, those are the screws. Again, place it in one place. Make sure that you're going to remember everything that is being removed. There. So, I have removed already my mother. Again, place it in one place. Make sure that if you're going to disassemble the PC, place all the parts or the internal parts of the system unit in one place. Do not place it on the ground or those are the ways on how are you going to disassemble the PC Once I was able to disassemble the PC this time let's assemble the PC so what do we need to do again you need a screwdriver make sure that the computer is being turned off and unplug remove again the jewelries that you are currently using to avoid any damages to your computer or ground or injuries to you as an individual let's see now how are we going to assemble the computer since the motherboard is the last one that is being removed in the system unit this should be the first one that you're going to attach to the system unit so let's start now i'm excited are you excited as well Let's see. So, here, make sure that you're going to place all the parts at the back. You will see those holes there. Make sure that. These are the different screws that I removed from this part. So let's place them one by one. So there, we already have the motherboard. Make sure that you're going to place all the screws tightly. So make sure that it will not loosen up. Okay. 
next thing that we need to do now is to place the power supply. There. So make sure that you have placed it tightly. Get one of the screws. Here is the technique. Once you place the first screw, do not place the second screw immediately here. You go diagonally. So this time, place the screw here, the second screw, to hold the parts or to avoid falling. There, see? Then, just simply tighten the screws. Position again this one to this place. Let's place now the other parts. Okay. But before that, place the 24 pins. So this one should be facing here. The four pins to this part. There. Okay. okay next, the hard disk. This is our hard disk. The side cable. So you can place it here. Any of the two slots, the red one. Okay. And we have this one. So again, this is USB. So USB is for this one. The other one is for the audio. Okay, this is the hardest part. So, HD. So, you can see that each is used with the different parts of this one. This one. Or there is an indicator already. So you just have to look the HD LED. So here is the HD LED. So HD LED there or HD LED. Then you have to look for the HD LED. Beside the HDD LED, so let's see what's beside the HDD LED. You have reset, so you have to look for the reset. So place it on the reset. There, the other one, 
the upper part beside the reset and you can see the so that it's power led and the other, the other one is power reset so let's take a look at the power led so here is the power led see power led so let's place it under this one then the other one is that one okay, place again this audio okay next thing that we need to do now is to place the seamless or the battery then the RAM. This is the reason why there is a display in your monitor. So, if it happens to be that your computer is being turned on, so if it happens to be that your computer is being turned on, and yet there is no display in your monitor, even though you turn on already the computer, or the system unit is already acting, just please take a look at this one. They move the RAM, the random access memory, to your RAM slot, then you just have to clean it. Now, do not clean it by washing it, okay? You just have to use a pencil eraser, erase or remove this part. This one. So, that is the proper way of cleaning. So, the proper way of cleaning the drum, you have to use an eraser. So, you just have to remove the golden part. So, or the smart part. So just the... Then, place it inside the drum slot now. So it's clean already. So please do not wash this, this one. You're not going to wash this one. To clean this, you have to use an eraser. So let's make an insert. So do not get confused on this one. Make sure that this is exactly. So see? You will hear here, you will hear a kick sound that it is being locked already. Okay. See? You heard that sound? So you need to say the RAM, the RAM slot locked already your RAM. So right after that, you can now cover this one. Okay, this time let us return the cover. And screw it. Again. Okay, this time let us return the cover. See? Just simply place it then slide it. There you go. Then screw it. So that is a proper way on how are you going to disassemble and assemble the computer. For us to know if this computer is really working, you have to attach the different peripheral devices, such as this one. You have to place the peripheral or the cords at the back of the system unit. So to check if the computer is really working. So let's test if the computer is really working. So here is the system unit. Let's attach all the peripherals at the back of the system unit. So let's take a look at it. So we have the power cord. So here is the power cord. Then we have the VGA. We have the PS2 port, so the PS2, the keyboard, and the mouse. Then we have the LAN port, or the NIC port. Let's see if it is working. Let's see. 
Next, hold on the monitor. This is the name. C. Remember the six pins that is being attached to the computer, the power LED, the HDB LED, the reset. This is the reason why there is a light or a LED light. So, that is really working. So, the computer is good. So, that is the different ways or that is how are we going to assemble and disassemble the computer. So, I hope you learn a lot. See you in our next video lesson. Bye everyone!